Hello geeks and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. This is Hi Prakash here and today we are solving a problem of a day 27th and the problem is police and thieves and uh, this problem was under, given under a tag of a medium and it is said that it has been asked in Microsoft interviews right so we are given an array of size n such that each element in either represents either policeman or a thief by the maximum number of thieves uh, that can be caught by police and we have two conditions to keep in mind each police can catch only one thief and uh, a policeman cannot catch a thief who is more than k units away from him and uh, so this is the example example here so we have a uh, five uh, five people here and uh, of them three of them are thieves and two of them are police and uh, based on our conditions uh, we can maximum catch two uh, uh, thieves right so police one will catch thief at this because he is at one unit and uh, police uh, p can catch either of this either of uh, these thieves and uh, so the maximum uh, thieves that, are, that can be caught here is two Whereas in this condition, we have to know do uh, do a carefully how we are catching the number because the k is going to be two, and we have to know try and uh, catch each thief. Uh, you know optimally that is we have to use a greedy solution here. So this is how uh, it is going to be happen. So the first police will uh, know uh, always look in his entire uh, range that is k is equal to two. So the first thief is at k is equal to two. So this uh, uh, police will catch this thief. And this police will catch this thief, and same thing here. This police will catch this thief. So this is how we can maximize the output here. So we have uh, three thieves, right? So this is generally a greedy, uh, uh, no problem. So we have to try and you know catch each thief optimally, so that in the end we have an optimal answer. Right? So this is how we can do it. So since uh, we have uh, only police and thieves, right? So we are going to create uh, two arrays. Which is going to store the location of the each police, and we are going to start put two pointers on each uh, police and uh, thief array, and uh, for every point we are going to check whether if uh, I th from police can catch uh, I th J th at uh, the thief. If that's the case, we are going to know um, make them appear, and we say that no, you did a great job, and we'll move on to the next thief and next police, right? So if that's not, if that's not the case, right? So. Let me just code it up and uh, we can understand bit better with the uh, coding, right? So as I've said, we, we need uh, two arrays. Um, let me call it as P, T. So police and thief, it, it, it's going to be initially uh, empty arrays. And uh, let's uh, try and fill them both. So for I in, uh, sorry, it, I'm going to run a range based loop here. So range of length of uh, array. And uh, I will check. So if my uh, array of I, whether it is a police or not so if it is a police then uh, we found a police and uh, we can push p dot append of uh, index of a police i else it is going to be a thief so t dot append of i right so now we have uh, polices and these locations now this is what we, it is going to happen so we are going to, going to run a loop on uh, while uh, we haven't exhausted our police and uh, thieves and uh, first uh, thief from the police that is a pointer we will always try and catch to the thief in the first index right so uh, this will this will ensure that we are always trying to you know use uh, maximum uh, ability of each police and we are not trying you no know, uh, to go out of the greedy and we are uh, no, not uh, trying to you know generate an answer which is only uh, working for particular scenarios but we have to generate an answer which works for every scenario right so this is how we are going to do. So while I'm going to say uh, let's initialize our two pointers. So i comma j, and uh, let's also initialize answer i is equal to j is equal to answer, and they are all going to be initialized with zeros. Answer is going to be the number of uh, thieves that are that has been caught, and we are going to say while i is less than length of police. So it, since it is been running on the police uh, array, and uh, j less than length of uh, j length and less of t's so now i will indicate a particular police and j will indicate a particular uh, uh, thief so we are going to check if uh, the police at i has a capability of catching j so for that uh, as we have a condition right so he can only catch the thief if, it, uh, if he is in uh, k units away from uh, him so for that i am going to calculate a uh, distance x2 minus x1 and i am going to calculate absolute distance 
because police can be uh, police can catch thief at two key units on either side right so the thief may might be uh, situated on the left of him or right of him so he can catch them in any way so i'm going to say if uh, absolute distance of uh, array of i sorry it has to be police of i police of i minus uh, sorry police of i we have given it as p right so police of i minus uh, thief of i j right so a uh, pointer at j on um, thieves and pointer at uh, i on uh, police so if they both uh, are at uh, no this is that is less than or uh, equal to k then we know that uh, we have uh, a case where we can catch a uh, thief so i'm going to say answer plus equals to one and uh, we, can, we are going to move on to our uh, next police because once the police has caught a thief then his, his services are being exhausted and we're going to say no good job and uh, we're going to move on to the next police and next thief so i plus equals to one and uh, j plus equals to one if that's not the case right so else if if what happens if a thief is situated uh, on the right side of police right let's say uh, in this case so police is situated here and a thief is let's assume that uh, this is an, an not uh, present here and police uh, is always on the left side of uh, thief right in that case uh, we are going to say that uh, no uh, we are going to try and move our police right so so that uh, see if he cannot uh, no uh, catch him then uh, we, are, we are going to try with the next thief sorry next police so we are going to move a police uh, we're going to say that uh, no the police that we are currently looking we are going to say that uh, uh, you have done a great job but you couldn't catch the thief so we are going to move to the next police right so we are going to say if uh, police so if police at i is less than thief at uh, j then we're going to move uh, uh, to next police so i plus equals to i plus equals to one in the else condition in the else condition the thief is going to be uh, on the left side of police right so thief is going to be on this side and police is going to be this side right so in this case if a thief uh, is on the left side and the current police is not able to catch him then no other police can catch him because all the other police are located on the on the right side to him but he is the uh, best candidate to catch that thief but uh, if he cannot catch the thief then thief is uh, located in such a way that he cannot be caught by anyone so we have to congratulate thief that he's uh, been uh, no located in such a location where he is hiding from the thief uh, all the police so we're going to say that uh, no you have you made your day and uh, we cannot catch you and we'll look for the next thief so in that case, we are going to so simply move on to the next uh, thief. So j plus equals to one. Okay. So once uh, either of police or uh, thieves are exhausted, so we are going to come out of this loop and we are going to return answer. And let's run this to check any errors. So yeah, it is uh, uh, two output. And let me just also uh, no show you my uh, no printing out uh, which, which police is catching which one so i'm going to say uh, police at uh, police at uh, p of i has uh, has caught thief thief at what uh, t of i so this will give you a better idea of what's happening in the algo. So, so in, in our current output, right? So uh, police at index zero. So, so this police is going to caught uh, this thief, and the same thing here. The police at uh, three is going to catch a thief at this point, right? So and in the end, we are returning a maximum answer. But let's let's uh, run some custom cases here. So let let's run with the uh, second example. So this is going to be uh, six and two and uh, caps lock so t t p p t and p so yes so you can see that so the police that uh, for the first police no he is good he will catch the first thief 
and the second police will catch a second thief that is at a thief at index one and the third police will catch a thief at four right sorry uh, the, this police will catch a thief at four so this is how we can maximize uh, the efficiency of police catching the thieves and uh, let me just comment this out and submit this and uh, we have our solution and i hope this video was helpful and uh, you have learned how to solve this problem if you have missed it yesterday and uh, thanks for watching we'll see you in the next week